once you get up beyond the clouds, there's a whole new story to tell. There's this treasure trove of data that will really help us better understand uh, what's going on down below. We here at Acme are trying to make the world a better place by taking that vast sea of data that are out there and distilling it down into something that people can use to make their decisions better. Our main focus has been the MyRadar smartphone app, but we have some side projects here and there, including launching satellites and collecting our own types of weather data and weather information. What inspires me is knowing that this app is used by millions of people every day that it's been proven over time to be incredibly useful, in some cases, life-saving. We have a patented process that allows us to give incredibly accurate predictions of rain up to an hour out that are uh, accurate down to the minute. The video portal is this additional pathway to the user where we can really hold our hand through the weather that's going on around them. Uh, with our expert meteorologists, they have the opportunity to kind of walk them through it and explain it in, in details that they might not otherwise be able to get on their own. As the years went on, we saw the value in being able to show additional types of information aside from just radar. As an example, we've started incorporating earthquake data, wildfire data. We've started incorporating aviation data. My radar users can expect a lot in the future. Uh, we're really just kind of getting started. We spent the last 10 years working with other people's data, recognizing the limitations of that data. So we decided, you know what, we're going to do it. Um, it may sound crazy, but we're going to build our own satellite and we're going to launch it. When you think of a normal satellite, you think of this big, massive payload, but the SmallSat revolution has allowed us to take that big scale idea and shrink it down into something that can accomplish a lot of different goals, but it can fit in the palm of your hand. The combination of hardware and software and form factor and technique uh, allowed us to file a patent for this new type of device and this new type of technique that had never been put together in this way. It's going to look at the Earth using a special hyperspectral camera, which is basically a technical way of saying that it's going to look at the Earth in multiple frequencies to give us multiple bits of information. And what's even further unique about it is that it's going to be doing it in a stereoscopic way. So we would be able to look into the eye of a hurricane. We could watch through clouds, see what they are made of. In the long run, it's our goal to have multiple satellites around the planet so that we increase our coverage, we increase the time to gather data, and basically we get the coverage that you'd really need to be able to provide. Outside of weather, it allows us to look at agriculture, it allows us to look at geography, ocean temperatures. There's really no limit to the types of information that we can start to glean out of this thing. We already provide aircraft tracking information from ground-based radar data. Once we launch a constellation of these satellites into orbit, the idea is to have global coverage of aircraft all over the globe. The airplane data cannot be tracked from ground when it's like in the middle of the ocean, and we will be able to collect this data, and in case something happens, we could provide it to the rescue forces so they can arrive earlier and maybe save lots of lives. Our satellites are going to have a positive impact on the world simply because we're going to be providing additional data that does not exist right now. The sky isn't the limit anymore. We'll be able to look at storms in ways that nobody else is doing, and the data that we'll be able to contribute to forecasting models will help save lives, ultimately. <laughs>